the 10 most frightening discoveries in Antarctica, horrific images taken from the depths of glaciers, including the one that stunned scientists. Antarctica at the end of the world covers an area of about 5.5 million square miles, one tenth of the Earth's land area, twice the size of Australia. About 98 of the continent is covered by an ice sheet that is an average of 6,233 feet thick. The extreme cold temperatures and strong winds make it difficult for humans to live in such an environment. That's why this area with the world's largest coal, iron ore, and even oil reserves is still the world's largest uninhabited land mass. So in addition to its rich natural resources, what secrets lie beneath the ice and snow in this no-go zone for humans? Today, join the world's most as we discover 10 of the most terrifying discoveries in Antarctica. Number 10, blood falls in the ice covered and uninhabited in Antarctic, the most unlikely color to be seen as red. However, in 1911, scientists exploring the Antarctic were surprised to find that the glacier at the foot of the Taylor Glacier was bleeding and that the red cascade had even dyed a glacial lake a bright red color. Initially, the scientists thought the red color was from algae, but after more than a decade of research, they discovered that it was actually from a 100-year-old salt lake underneath the glacier. Every once in a while, the salt lake would spew out some iron-rich liquid that was oxidized by the air, and this liquid instantly turned into blood-red iron oxide along with the glacier's meltwater, which then naturally turned blood-red in color. This process is similar to how rusty iron turns a deep red when exposed to oxygen. However, further research revealed that the iron in the glacier water is not a mineral in the traditional sense. Instead, it is composed of tiny nanospheres that are 100 times smaller than human red blood cells. These nanospheres originate from ancient microscopic organisms and are not crystalline, which is why previous methods of examining the solids failed to detect them. This discovery has revealed a major blind spot in the study of life in the colder regions of the planet, such as the polar regions and Mars, where the materials formed are likely to uh, be nanoscale and non-crystalline. This means that our previous exploration of life has been inadequate. Unfortunately, it is not currently feasible to study Mars for nanoscale evidence of life as electron microscopes are too large and power hungry to be placed on the Mars rovers. Currently, the only way to study nanoscale evidence of life on Mars is to return samples to Earth. Number nine, extra long skulls. In 2016, archaeologists discovered three skulls in Antarctica. It's not unusual to find human skulls, but these three look very different. At first glance, they appear to be human, but as you can see, their foreheads are very long and slender. Experts have determined that the skulls are similar to modern humans, with the exception of the foreheads. In fact, these skulls have been found not only in Antarctica, but also in Peru and Iraq. The earliest discovery dates back to 1928, when archaeologists discovered a tomb in Peru where more than 300 of these elongated skulls have been found. Scientists conducted DNA tests on, the, uh, on, on these skulls and found that they contain DNA that has never been found in humans or any other primate. Some conspiracy theorists theorize that these strange skulls are evidence of extraterrestrial life that has lived on Earth. Others theorize that Antarctica may have been home to a very ancient civilization that elongated the skulls of its children. It's also possible that the elongated skulls were the result of an early cultural practice. The discovery of elongated skulls is a fascinating one and it raises many questions about our past. More research is needed to learn more about these skulls and their origins. Number eight, Song of the Ice. If you enjoy listening to nature every day, you won't want to miss the remarkable singer of the Antarctic ice shelf. Between late 2014 and early 2017, scientists buried 34 extremely sensitive seismic sensors under the snow on the surface of the Ross ice shelf to better understand its physical properties. The sensors were intended to record and monitor the vibrations of the ice shelf to study its structure and movement. However, when analyzing the seismic data, the scientists unexpectedly discovered that the sensors had captured a large number of strange humming sounds, also known as ice shelf song. These sounds need to be increased in frequency by at least 1200 times before they can be heard by the human ear. The pitch of the songs fluctuates with changes in the ice shelf surface and wind, similar to a flute where different holes are plugged and different strengths of air are blown to create different melodies. This suggests that changes in the pitch of the ice shelf, songs can reflect changes in the ice shelf structure the development and evolution of ice lakes or cracks and other factors. Additionally, as the world's largest ice shelf, the Ross Ice Shelf song 
may even create ripples in the atmosphere over the Antarctic continent. The discovery of this Antarctic music is of great scientific significance. With this knowledge, scientists can remotely and continuously monitor changes in the ice surface by studying the pitch fluctuations. This information can be used to predict when ice shelves are more vulnerable to collapse, which can help us better understand and mitigate the effects of climate change on this frozen continent. Number seven, the purest water. It's incredible that there are so many lakes hidden beneath the thick sea ice of this vast continent. So far, scientists have discovered more than 400 subglacial lakes in Antarctica. The largest known subglacial lake is Lake Vostok in East Antarctica, which is 155 miles long and 31 miles wide and can reach a depth of up to 26, 25 feet. The water temperature in the lake remains at a constant 32 degrees Fahrenheit, even though it is located 13,123 feet below the Antarctic ice cap. This makes it one of the purest bodies of water on the planet. The discoveries made so far have proven that Lake Vostok is a vibrant ecosystem. Even more remarkable is the fact that the environment under the Antarctic ice cap closely resembles that of Europa, Jupiter's second largest moon. Life has been discovered in both Lake Vostok and Europa, suggesting that life may be more common in the universe than previously thought. Imagine if we found life in Europa. This would mean that life is a universal phenomenon in the universe and our galaxy could be home to countless species of extraterrestrial life. We would no longer be alone in our solar system. Number six, giant caves. For many years, people have believed in the existence of civilizations other than human beings on Earth, uh, such as geocentrists and undersea people. One of the most popular theories is the hollow Earth theory proposed by the famous astronomer Edmund Halley. This theory posits that Earth is hollow with a habitable inner world. Heat from the Earth's core is dissipated through giant caves at the North and South Poles. In 2017, a giant hole was discovered in the ice-covered continent of Antarctica. This hole, which is about 30 miles wide, has been growing larger every year. A similar hole was first documented in 1973 when it appeared in an area about the size of the state of California. You remained there for three years. Scientists have puzzled over why these holes form, especially since they appear during the Antarctic's coldest month when the sea ice is thickest. However, recent research has uncovered a possible explanation. Atmospheric rivers. Atmospheric rivers are bands of concentrated water vapor that transport warm, humid air from the tropics to the poles. As the rivers move over the polar regions, they release heat from the air through a series of processes. This heat creates a localized greenhouse effect, which affects cyclone dynamics and ultimately leads to the melting of the sea ice. This melting creates mysterious and bizarre looking giant heat holes. As global warming intensifies, atmospheric rivers and cyclones are likely to become more active. This means that we are likely to see more giant holes and melting sea ice in the future. Number five, the abandoned huts from the late 19th century, the early 20th century, the exploration of the Antarctic, especially the exploration of the South Pole, attracted many explorers. The most famous were British explorers, Robert Falcon Scott and Ernest Shackleton. These two pioneers of Antarctic exploration left not only their names in history, but also their simple huts when they were stationed in the Antarctic. First, we'll look at Scott's hut. It is situated on the north side of Cape Evans and was prefabricated in England and shipped here on the Explorer ship. It is 49.2 feet long and 25 feet wide with hollow double-walled walls filled with seaweed sewn into the bedding to add warmth to the house. This humble abode seems to have been being frozen in time. As soon as you walk in, you feel you've been transported to a distant time, surrounded by a world that was not as far away as you thought. Be surrounded by the supplies of an expedition, perfectly preserved by the cold. You'll also find traces of scientific research, meteorological equipment, biological samples, and even the precious eggshells of emperor penguins. For Shackleton's hut, some 20 miles from Hut's Point, took three weeks to build. It is said that one of Scott's teammates, a former member of the Shackleton expedition, traveled to Shackleton's hut to reminisce. In his account, everything was as it was before, bread still on the table, warm clothes still hanging on the weathered clothesline. The team member retrieved a jar of butter 
a jar of jam, a plum pudding, and biscuits, all of which were said to be still very much in good condition. These unpretentious huts, each with its corner of real history, are places where the spirit of adventure echoes through the walls. Thanks to modern technology, it's now possible through the seamless stitching of photographs to go on a virtual expedition through these cottages and immerse yourself in the atmosphere of those days, as if you were standing next to one of the brave explorers of old. Number four, sea spiders. Sea spiders have been around for 450 million years before the dinosaurs even appeared. Over time, they have adapted to several major changes on Earth. In order to get more oxygen from the sea, their legs have become longer and longer. Eventually, even their digestive and reproductive systems moved into their legs and they gradually lost their bodies. Uh, sea spiders are found in many seas around the world, but they are most common in the Antarctic. This is because the colder the water, the more dissolved oxygen it contains, and the Antarctic is a great place for sea spiders to get more oxygen. Uh, sea spiders in the Antarctic are very large, which is why they're called giant sea spiders. Their legs can reach up to 27 inches in length. Only by evolving to be larger can they get more oxygen in the cold environment. Sea spiders also take advantage of ocean currents to move around without using their legs, which reduces their body's oxygen consumption. This is why they are so dependent on their own bodies for oxygen. Sea spiders will eat anything but they mainly eat immobile creatures like starfish or coral, and they will even scavenge for garbage. Scientists are worried that giant sea spiders may die out due to global warming. To find out what will happen, they have artificially adjusted the water temperature and lowered the oxygen level to observe the sea spiders' reactions. Surprisingly, the sea spiders have I have remarkable ability to uh, adapt to the changing environment. They are the MVPs of a 450 million year survival race. Number three, oldest marine DNA discovered. DNA can be found not only in living organisms, but also in the environment, such as in the air, indoor dust, soil, and deep sea sediments. Whenever an organism releases skin flakes, feces, urine, or saliva, or when it dies and decomposes, cellular residues and traces of its genetic material enter the environment. By analyzing this environmental DNA, scientists can deduce which organisms live or used to live in that environment. In, in a recent study published in Nature Communications in 2022, scientists discovered the oldest marine DNA in deep sea sediments in the Scotia Sea. This material dates back a million years and belongs to eukaryotic organism. The DNA called sedimentary ancient DNA sedane is found in a number of environments and has remained intact largely due to the low temperatures, low oxygen, and lack of UV radiation associated with the polar marine environment. In this DNA analysis, scientists identified the genome of the world's oldest diatom, whose DNA is 540,000 years old. In one of the samples, the team even detected eukaryotic DNA that appears to be 2.5 million years old. However, the researchers are cautious about these results because even under ideal conditions, DNA is not expected to last more than about a million years. The discovery of this million-year-old DNA suggests that the seafloor contains the genomes of marine organisms that have been preserved for a longer period of time than previously thought. This not only enhances our understanding of ancient ecosystems, but also provides us with a new way of interpreting and predicting the effects of climate change. Number two, Ebersai's tongue. Mount Erebus, located on Ross Island in Antarctica, is the second highest volcano in Antarctica with an altitude of 12,450 feet. It is also the southernmost active volcano on Earth. The volcano has been active for 1.3 million years and has been in constant eruption for the past 30 years. In addition to the volcano's internal activity, aerial images of the foothills of Mount Erebus show a huge track breaking the peaceful blanket of snow. This mysterious track is 2.1 miles wide and 6.2 miles long. It looks like something has been dragged along for more than six miles and it is most likely a dead object. However, the track is surprisingly neat and tidy. Uh, some people have suggested that the track is related to the 1979 accident that killed 237 people when a New Zealand airliner you know, crashed into Mount Erebus at breakneck speed. The crash left a 2,000 foot trail on the mountainside, much shorter than the mysterious track. For a while, there were all sorts of ghostly claims, but scientists eventually stepped forward to clarify the phenomenon. The track is known as the Erebus Ice Tongue, a miraculous natural phenomenon of a glacier formed by the interaction of glacial streams and tides. In other words, when water flows quickly through an ocean or like ice tongues can appear randomly, According to statistics, there are at least 19 such ice tongues in Antarctica and the North Pole. Number one, the oldest pyramid. Whenever we talk about pyramids, most people 
naturally think of the sun-drenched land of Egypt, but what if I told you that pyramids might also exist in the now seemingly uninhabited Antarctica? In 2016, a satellite image from Google attracted a lot of attention. And as you can see from this image, a mysterious pyramid-like structure has appeared in Antarctica under the snows of Mount Ellsworth. If it is a pyramid, then it's much bigger than the Great Pyramid of Giza, which stood at only 481 feet high and is now only 448 feet long with a side length of 711 feet. The Great Pyramid of Giza is only 481 feet high, and after years of weathering, it's now only 448 feet long with a side length of 711 feet. Whereas the one found in the Antarctic, according to Google Earth, has a side length of 6,562 feet and a height of 4,150 feet, which is almost 10 times that of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Uh, so if such a majestic structure is naturally occurring, then why is it so neatly formed at the corners and edges? Is it really nature's work? In response to this discovery, some scientists have suggested that an ancient civilization may have existed in Antarctica in the distant past when Antarctica was still near the equator, a tropical climate with vast tropical rainforests where countless prehistoric animals roamed freely. The discovery of the Cambrine trilobite in the Ellsworth Range from over 500 million years ago is evidence of this. And for a continent that is so warm and comfortable, there is every reason to believe that ancient man could have been nurtured on the continent. So if this giant pyramid in Antarctica is really a man-made structure, then it's probably the oldest pyramid on the planet. That's all for this video. Which of the 10 amazing discoveries in Antarctica impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please like subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.